find the probability of rolling an even number on a single die. So anytime you're asked to find a probability, essentially what you're looking for is how many ways can something happen out of how many total ways that anything can happen. So that anything deals with the sample space. So if we're talking about a single die, we can find the sample space pretty easily. Steve's list out all the possibilities of what can happen. So if I roll a single die, you could get a 1, you could get a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, or you can get a 6. Okay, so those are all the possibilities. So of these six, how many of them are even? Well, two, four, and six. So the probability, we're going to use this notation, probability of rolling an even number is one, two, three ways out of one, two, three, four, five, six possibilities. Okay, so three out of six, that's the same thing as one half, so this is 0.5. Or if you want this as a percentage, this would be 50% chance. Okay, let's look at another one, doing the same thing, figure out what's the sample space. So in this example, we're given the sample space. So find the probability of selecting a white marble from a jar containing three white marbles, four red marbles, and eight blue marbles. So right from the get-go, we're given our sample space. Let's just draw it out real quick. So we have three white marbles. There's three white. We have four red marbles. And eight blue marbles. Okay, so all together we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 15 marbles. Okay, so all together there's 15 marbles. Okay, so the number in our sample space is 15. So now we're going to answer the question to say, well, what's the probability of selecting a white marble? So out of 15 marbles, how many of them could be white? Well, we got one, two, three of them. So three out of 15. You can reduce it if you want. I'm really just going to be looking for the decimal. So one out of five, that's the same thing as 20%, so 0.2. Okay, so a 20% chance of getting a white marble. Look at one more. Let's find the probability of selecting a king or an ace from a standard deck of 52 cards. So we already know how many numbers are in the sample space. It's 52 possibilities. So how many of them are kings and how many are aces? Well, if you look at a standard deck of cards, there's four suits. So you're going to have you're going to have your diamond. You're going to have your heart. You're going to have your club, and you're going to have your spade. So each card has four of each. So a king is going to have four, and an ace is also going to have four. So if you want a king or an ace, that means there's eight cards that would satisfy that. So the probability of having a king or an ace out of 52 cards, eight of them, are kings or aces. So then dividing this out, 8 divided by 52. Let's go maybe three decimal places. So 0 0.15, we'll say 4. And then as a percentage, 15.4% chance. So out of a standard deck of 52 cards, if you were to pick one out, you have a 15% chance that it's going to be a king or an ace.